Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Annie and I don't know about you guys, but recently my eyes have been so itchy, my nose has been runny, my throat has been itchy, and I've been sneezing non-stop. <laughs> and you know what that means? Springtime. Wonderful springtime. <laughs> Springtime is great though, okay, don't get me wrong. There's warmer weather, the days are longer, and we get to go outside and do more things. And with that comes wearing things that are suitable for the new warm weather. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've been having a hard time transitioning from like winter clothes to spring clothes. I went from wearing like hoodies, jackets, and just the same outfits every day, and now all of a sudden I'm trying to look cute and like, I'm trying to not sweat my butt off and so it's always been a little difficult for me and so this spring season I wanted to try out making a capsule wardrobe and if you guys don't know what a capsule wardrobe is it's basically a collection of clothing that's composed of just interchangeable clothes only so you can maximize the amount of outfits you can make out of each piece put in more wear and essentially limit the excess amount of clothing that you may have and so this spring I want to try making one so that one I can save time and build an outfit it's easier to be more aware and intentional with the pieces that I own in my closet and three I want to avoid buying more of what I already have and four I'm sure lots of you guys have gone through this too where you guys gotten a piece that was really cute and you thought you'd wear it a lot but then you only end up wearing it like once the whole entire year even and so I just want to put more wear into my clothes by the end of the season but before we go into wardrobe building, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Princess Polly, for sending me so many cute and new pieces to add into this wardrobe. You can use my code AnnieD for 20% off your next order. They ship from within the US and they have free standard shipping from 48 days to US and Canadian orders over 50 US or 70 Canadian. Duties and checkouts are payable at checkout, so there are no surprises at your door. They have super easy returns within 30 days, and they offer afterpay to all US and Canadian customers. So without any further ado, let's get into building. So because I tend to be very indecisive, I actually went into this and made a short list of guidelines to help myself make this wardrobe. So the first thing on the list is color scheme. Because this wardrobe is made with only a small number of items, it's gonna make sure that most of the items that you have on the rack would be pairable with each other. And a good way to do this is to stick with a color scheme. And you don't need to do that, but for me, I find that it makes building outfits effortless. Number two is functionality. So the many ways that you can wear a piece and the many occasions that you can wear those pieces too. Third on the list is comfort and fit. So how do these pieces fit on me and how do I feel wearing it? So if these pieces make me feel confident, if I feel comfy, then just thumbs up for me. And lastly, number four, in the wise words of Marie Kondo, does it spark joy? So do these pieces make me feel good? Do they make me happy? And does it give me that boost of that feel good juice? And if it does, it belongs on the rack. Hello, hello. So I have my rack right here. First off is a white top. Instead of getting a regular white tee or tank for this wardrobe, I decided to get an elevated basic instead. I got a white corset top, which makes any outfit look a little more sophisticated. Something about a V-cut adds so much more interest to a piece. It's super comfy and I can pair this with all of my bottoms. The bone casing of this corset also looks super cool overall and the quality feels amazing. To pair it, I have these super versatile black pants. They can look super casual or dressy depending on how you want to dress it up. I loved how these looked so much that I decided to get myself another pair in brown. <laughs> these fit well and are perfectly true to size. They're flowy enough so there's enough room for my legs to breathe and I can march all around town and up a mountain if I really wanted to. Next is a neutral crop tank top. If I want to go for something not so structured and relaxed, the tank top is great at giving it a relaxed look. I love the length of the crop top and the fine ribbed detail of this. Since it can still get a little breezy, I added a cardigan to this wardrobe. For spring, I made sure to choose a light cardigan instead of a chunky one so that I won't heat up. I think cardigans should be a staple in capsule wardrobes year round because they can be worn and styled in so many different ways and are so functional. Next is this cropped sweater. Depending on where you are in the world, maybe it's already too hot to wear one, but here in Philly, it can still get chilly at night, so I found that sweaters are perfect for spring to late spring, 
I am obsessed with this crisscrossed front and the loose puffy sleeves. Ooh, and the cuff sleeves too. A simple white sweater could be boring, but this elevates any outfit. Next are the long sleeve tops I chose for the wardrobe. The first one is a black puffy sleeved bodysuit. I find that bodysuits are just super functional and you can go like throughout your entire day and not worry about anything getting untucked. I think I'm really digging these puffy sleeved tops and you'll see in my upcoming pieces. The next one is also a bodysuit, but this one has a deep v-neck which I find super gorgeous and flattering. And the super stretchy material hugging my body all the way around makes it super comfortable and I feel like I can just stretch in every single direction. Speaking of stretchy, the next set of bottoms is the super stretchy skirt. Paired with this top, it can be worn to a nice dinner or an event. Black makes it so easy to pair with all sorts of items and I can dress it up or down however I want. I think springtime is the best time for wearing maxi or midi skirts. This one here is a white knitted one and it has a slit right in the front. Super cute. It's also super cozy and hugs my lower body really nicely. I just love how cozy these are and just makes me feel like I'm wearing a blanket around me. For some chiller days, I can easily pair this with a sweater. I love how this looks with this crop sweater right here because you can still see my waist and my shape isn't completely drowned out by it. And at the same time, I love how loose the sweater is. The sleeves are slightly puffed and then cuffed at the ends, and I just love the turtleneck here. Next is a dress for dates, dressier occasions, or really any sort of thing you have going on. These sheer sleeves stay on really nice and snug on my shoulders and they don't fall off at all, but you can always take them off for the off the shoulder look. I've always been a fan of the ruched look when it comes to dresses because it's subtle puckering and soft drapery is just really flattering and it's a great way to disguise my tummy <laughs> or if I have a little food baby going on. And when it starts from the side of the waist, it can also help to create the illusion of a narrower waistline. On lazy days when I can't even think straight, grabbing a matching set is always a foolproof way to look cute and put together. This one is a white and knitted one and it's super comfy. The sweater isn't too thick at all actually so that's a plus and it has loose fabric flowing all over and gives it a very cute oversized look. Last but not least is a jacket. With the warmer weather, I don't wear jackets as often anymore but just in case I need to stay warm, I can easily layer this on top. I love how soft this faux leather jacket is and it's super lightweight and I don't feel like I'm overheating when I'm wearing this. So, what do you guys think? Overall, I think I'm pretty satisfied and content with the pieces that I chose for the spring wardrobe. So if you guys liked this video or if you guys enjoy this sort of content, please let me know by commenting an orange heart below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!